Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. As I'm doing, I'm doing a, a gingerbread cupcake. Now I'm going to show you how to make this festive cupcake as a Christmas treat. So I'm going to start with combining the, the dry ingredients. Combine the dry ingredients. So I've got one hundred and twenty five grams of dark brown sugar. As a bit of a Christmas treat, you go add some a teaspoon, tea, two teaspoons of ground ginger, and also. A teaspoon of mixed spice. Add a teaspoon of mixed spice to give it a Christmas flavour. And finally to the dry ingredients, add 250 grams of self-raising flour. And then sift this through. You will then combine it until, until you're going to combine it in a large bowl. Watch as if I am combining the ingredients together. Once you've got to the combining stage, I'm going to be showing you what to do next. Here in the heated pan for the water, I've got 100 grams of black treacle and another 100 grams of golden syrup, and to that, I've got 125 grams of unsalted butter. It's going to be set on a low medium heat. What you can see is it is melting just a little bit. As the golden syrup and the black treacle has melted, we're going to wait for those bits of butter to melt. Now 
What you have to do is to mix well the the water it is starting to simmer away in the pan. The butter is coming close to melting completely. You gotta mix it all in a liquid sequence until you don't see any buttery bits. Now, now you don't see any butter and you still need the simmering water. I'm going to be showing you what to do next. Now, now into the dry ingredient section and you're going to be making a well in the middle just to make Use it with a fork to make a well in the middle. First, once you mix the butter and treacle together, you're going to put in the butter mix along with the dry ingredients. Then once you've poured in the butter mix, you're going to bring in your flour in from the sides with a fork. As you may have aware of the scents and the smell, you can smell the the ginger that was already in the mixture. Finally, we're going to add some 150 ml of milk and some two lightly beaten eggs. That's the final two ingredients of the cupcake mixture now you're going to mix all of the ingredients in until it is smooth talking about smooth batter you want it to be as smooth as as a cupcake mixture As it is nearly smooth enough, you can it'll be mixed for one last little bit until we put it in the cupcake cases, Christmas ones. Because Christmas is coming up, I just wanted it to make a little more festive. before transferring this mixture into the cupcake cases. I'll then put this liquidy mixture into this jug. Now 
Now this is where you're going to put the cupcake batter into the cupcake cases. That's what I would always say. Don't fill the cupcake cases way too full. Otherwise, it'll be all over the place. These are the cupcake batters that are filled in with the cupcake cases. It practically, it practically says serves 12 on a recipe. And you can make more if the batter is so small than that. Now these cupcakes can go in the oven for one eighty degrees C and you're gonna bake it for twenty to twenty five minutes until it is spring into the touch. So pause the video now we'll we're gonna be showing you what what to do next. Once your cupcakes have been baked and come out the oven and have been tested and have been curled down now it is time to decorate so I've got I've got 200 grams of butter unsalted now it, this needs to be soft when you're making buttercream and this is the advice As well as that of the buttercream mixture, I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add a, a teaspoon of ground ginger. I'd rather use this in for this, because it may have lumps in it. And finally to this buttercream mixture, I'm going to add some 350 grams of icing sugar. And I'm going to put this in two batches. If your icing sugar has got lumps in it, what you can do is give it a scrape in the sieve because we don't want lumps in the buttercream mixture.
if yours has lumps in it, give it a scrape in the sieve as well. Remember, no lumps in this. Well, what you have to do is to feed the butter to make this a butter cream. I'm going to take this final batch of icing sugar in the buttercream mix mixture and give this a wee mix first. Once we mix with the buttercream, you can either dollop it with a spoon or you can pipe it on. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, do it now so you can get recipe ideas can you see how it's dolloped on the cupcakes do it with the same for the rest of the cupcakes once you've either piped or dolloped some icing now we can decorate this with some sprinkles And it says mini gingerbread men. We don't have gingerbread men. I've got some sprinkles for you to suggest sprinkling it, sprinkling it on. So if you watch me sprinkle some on the cupcakes you can do but this is only a bake along demonstration on how to make them. These are the cupcakes that have been decorated. Do you like these cupcakes? So if you like these cupcakes that I'm suggesting to you, please subscribe to my channel.
and they fill out Lord Bortini Bo 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 Bo